Welcome to Great Online Training. In this video, we'll be exploring various aspects of careers in the clinical research domain, including SAS clinical programming, clinical data management, pharmacovigilance, and the role of a clinical research associate. We'll compare courses, salaries across different countries, roles, and responsibilities, as well as discuss potential career paths. So, without further ado, let's dive in. These are all important roles within the field of clinical research, and each one focuses on different aspects of the process. I'll provide a brief overview of each role. 1. SAS Clinical Programming SAS Clinical Programmer is responsible for using the SAS Statistical Analysis System software to process, analyze, and report clinical trial data. They develop and maintain programs, validate data, and ensure data quality and consistency across various databases. This role requires strong programming skills, knowledge of clinical trial data, and familiarity with relevant regulatory guidelines, such as C-DISC standards. 2. Clinical Data Management CDM Clinical Data Managers are responsible for the collection, management, and quality control of data from clinical trials. They develop data management plans, design and validate electronic case report forms ECRFs, oversee data entry, perform data cleaning, and ensure data integrity. Their role is critical to the successful completion of a clinical trial, as they ensure that the data collected is accurate, reliable, and ready for statistical analysis. 3. Pharmacovigilance PD pharmacovigilance professionals monitor the safety and effectiveness of pharmaceutical products throughout their life cycle, from preclinical development to post-marketing surveillance. They collect, analyze, and evaluate adverse event reports and identify potential safety concerns or trends. Their work helps to minimize risks associated with drug use and ensures that regulatory authorities and healthcare professionals are informed of any safety issues. 4. Clinical Research Associate CRA Clinical Research Associates are responsible for monitoring clinical trials and ensuring that they are conducted in compliance with the study protocol, good clinical practice GCP, guidelines, and applicable regulatory requirements. They visit clinical trial sites, review trial documentation, verify data accuracy, and ensure that the rights, safety, and well-being of trial participants are protected. CRAs serve as the primary link. Let me do the salary comparison in this jobs. Salary can vary significantly based on factors such as experience, location, and company size. Salaries in India, in Indian rupees, per year. SAS Clinical Programmer, 4 lakhs to 16 lakhs. Clinical Data Manager, 4 lakhs to 9 lakhs. Pharmacovigilance Specialist, 3 locks to 7 locks. Clinical Research Associate, 3 locks to 8 locks. Salaries in USA, in US dollars, per year. 1. SAS Clinical Programmer, $70,000 to $140,000. 2. Clinical Data Manager, $60,000 to $120,000. 3. Pharmacovigilance Specialist, $60,000 to $100,000. 4. Clinical Research Associate, $50,000 to $95,000. Salaries in UK, in British pounds, per year. 1. SAS Clinical Programmer, $40,000 to £90,000. 2. Clinical Data Manager, $35,000 to £60,000. 3. Pharmacovigilance Specialist, $30,000 to £50,000. 4. Clinical Research Associate, $25,000 to £45,000. Who are eligible to learn these courses? Each of these roles in clinical research has different eligibility requirements based on the knowledge and skills needed for the job. While there may be some overlap, here are the general eligibility criteria for each role. SAS Clinical Programmer A bachelor's or master's degree in a relevant field, such as computer science, statistics, biostatistics, or data science. Familiarity with the SAS programming language, preferably with experience in the clinical research or pharmaceutical industry. Knowledge of clinical trial data standards, such as DISC. 
strong problem solving and analytical skills. Clinical Data Manager, CDM. A bachelor's or master's degree in a relevant field, such as life sciences, biostatistics, or data management. Experience or training in data management, preferably within the clinical research or pharmaceutical industry. Knowledge of good clinical practice, GCP, and regulatory requirements related to clinical data management. Strong attention to detail, organizational, and communication skills. Pharmacovigilance Specialist. A bachelor's or master's degree in a relevant field, such as pharmacy, nursing, or life sciences. Experience or training in pharmacovigilance, drug safety, or a related field, preferably within the pharmaceutical industry. Knowledge of pharmacovigilance regulations, guidelines, and best practices. Strong analytical, communication, and problem-solving skills. Clinical Research Associate, CRA. A bachelor's or master's degree in a relevant field, such as life sciences, nursing, or pharmacy. Experience or training in clinical research or a related field, preferably with experience in monitoring clinical trials. Knowledge of good clinical practice, GCP, and regulatory requirements related to clinical trials. Strong communication, organizational, and interpersonal skills. In addition to the above criteria, many positions require some level of experience in the specific role or a related field. Some professionals start in entry-level positions and work their way up, while others may transition from other roles within the industry. Many organizations offer training and development programs to help individuals acquire the necessary skills and knowledge for these roles. It's important to note that specific eligibility requirements may vary depending on the employer and the particular role, so always review job postings carefully to ensure you meet the desired qualifications. Which course is easy to learn? The ease of learning and mastering each of these roles in clinical research depends on an individual's background, skills, and interests. It's difficult to determine which role is the easiest to learn overall, as this can vary from person to person. However, here's a brief overview of what each role entails and the skills required to help you determine which might be the easiest for you. Say as clinical programmer, this role requires strong programming skills and knowledge of statistical methods. If you have a background in programming or data analysis, you might find learning a as clinical programming to be relatively easier. This is in the first place in terms of salary package. Clinical data manager, CDM this role involves data management, quality control, and attention to detail. If you have experience in data management or life sciences and possess strong organizational skills, you might find clinical data management easier to learn. Pharmacovigilance Specialist Pharmacovigilance focuses on drug safety and monitoring. A background in pharmacy, nursing, or life sciences may make this role easier to learn. If you have experience working with medications and understand their potential risks and side effects, you might find pharmacovigilance more accessible. Clinical Research Associate CRA, this role involves monitoring clinical trials and ensuring compliance with study protocols and regulations. If you have a background in life sciences, nursing, or pharmacy and possess good communication and interpersonal skills, you might find the CRA role easier to learn. Ultimately, the easiest role for you to learn will depend on your existing knowledge, skills, and interests. To determine which role might be the most suitable for you, consider your strengths and how they align with the skills required for each role. Additionally, you may want to explore each field further by attending workshops, webinars, or courses to gain a deeper understanding of each role and its responsibilities. Should you require training for any of these courses, feel free to check out www.greatonlinetraining.com for comprehensive learning resources. Thank you for watching.